Hi, my name is Claire Daly, and I want to talk to you about long tones. I pretty much want to talk to everyone about long tones because I think they're one of the most important things that we do as horn players. The job of a horn player is to put air through an instrument and move the keys to make the sound come out. If you have all the technique in the world and you know everything there is to know about reharmonization and playing music, but you don't put any air through the instrument, not too much happens. Therefore, the, one of the pivotal and most important things we do is put air into the instrument. Important facts about long tones. They do not have to be long in duration. They are about quality of sound, not how long you can hold the note. You might be able to hold a note out for 30 seconds and it's wobbling and it's, it sounds thin or you know, something's happening to it. You, what, what you want to be able to do is sustain a note with a center blowing the air directly into the horn and sustain the note for as long as it maintains quality. So I'm going to give you an example. I always start on G, nice middle G there. First thing you have to do is take a deep breath, which comes from the belly. And I call it the pre-yawn breath. Very natural. You don't force as long as you can. You just let the air play through as long as it stays even and is comfortable. Now, we also have to talk about placement of the embouchure on the mouthpiece. This is very important. What you want to do is rest your top teeth on the mouthpiece and cushion the reed with your lower lip. Now, think about this. If you have a mouthpiece and a reed and you clamp down on it, you're constricting the reed. The reed has to vibrate for sound to be made. So the idea is to keep, keep it loose but sealed up. Your lower lip is just cushioning the reed. It is not biting the reed. If you're getting a big ridge on the inside of your lip from your teeth cutting through or anything, you're playing too tight. You really want to keep this loose. I'll do, do another one. Now I'm playing very loud just to, sh just to show you and to get the air going through this. Um, when I start playing, I usually do loud, long tones first. As soon as you get any wobbling or any other sound in the note, let it go. Just even if it goes for three seconds. That's a long tone. So the idea of long tones is you, you're warming up your instrument and you're warming up your own mechanism, which is your breathing apparatus, which is most important when you're playing the saxophone.